Honkai Star Rail is cooking with their latest 2.1 live stream. In this video, we're going to break down everything that you need to know about 2.1. Codes and timestamps are in the description. Let's do this. Of course, there's going to be a brand new story in 2.1, and they also added this new feature, which lets you progress through the main storyline, but in the POV of other characters. If you're a big story fanatic like myself, it's going to be so cool to go back to Bellabog, Shangel LeFou, and of course, Penacony. Except this time, we're in the minds and motivations of other characters. Naturally, though, our 2.1 characters are going to be the driving force of the 2.1 story. So let's get into them right now. Sit back and crack open a cold one with Gallagher, the new husbando of the group. A four-star fire character following the path of abundance, Gallagher's gonna bring a unique flavor to the abundance path. Gallagher's skill, Special Brew, is pretty simple in that it just regens HP for the selected ally. However, his ultimate that's on the screen right now provides a special debuff to the enemies. And when your allies attack this enemy, they will regain HP. His technique, Artist and Elixir, just puts the debuff on right at the beginning of the battle. But like a good infomercial, that's not all folks. Gallagher's ultimate will also enhance his basic attack with all of these pink things going all over his arms and stuff, which will do more damage to the enemies, reduce their attack, and cause more break damage when they get broken. Because of that, I think Gallagher's going to have a pretty good place in a lot of teams. We can discuss that later, but I'm really excited to use him in an agility team since he has two debuffs built into his kit already. But now it's time for the five stars, starting off with our lightning. Nihility Mommy Acheron. From the initial preview on the live stream, she is going to be insane. Despite being the most visually stunning character, with all of the motifs and themes surrounding her, she's going to hit like a truck. When Acheron uses her skill Octobolt Flash, she starts accumulating these charges called Special Dream. She needs to get these charges as quickly as possible because they unlock her ultimate. But that is of course not the only way to get these charges. Every time an ally uses an attack that applies any debuff to the enemy, she will also get these charges. Pretty much any debuff you can think of will be counting towards these charges. Pela's defense down, and this is where I think Gallagher would be really interesting because of his two debuffs that we mentioned earlier. With Acheron's talent though, there is going to be a wider diversity of nihility teams and debuff teams that you can create along with her. When your charges are at max, it's finally time to use the coolest ultimate in the entire game. It's a visually stunning four hit combo. You can aim the first three at any opponents that you would like, followed by a huge AoE fourth hit where it zooms in and does all these crazy visual effects. Another important factor to the ultimate is that there is no energy gauge. There's no more energy tuning needed for Acheron because it's solely those charges that you get from the debuffs. But like a good infomercial, oh wait, I already made that joke, my bad. Her technique is also overpowered. With her technique, she one-shots any monster in the overworld that's not an elite or a boss. Without even having to do the battle, you still get the rewards. And like they said in the live stream, you can use it in simulated universe. And for each technique point you spend, you can do it in a combination with each other, the more mobs that you see. She also apparently eats peaches, and oh my god, this scene is amazing. So uh, yeah, Acheron might just be a must-pull unit and I'm definitely going to be spending some money for her. Now I'm sure we can all agree that the next unit is going to be the most trustworthy character in Penacony. Aventurine is a five-star imaginary unit who follows the path of preservation. I definitely want to make a more in-depth Aventurine video, kind of explaining how he's going to shift the meta in Honkai Star Rail, but that's for another time. Starting with Aventurine's skill, where he's going to apply stackable shields for his entire team. Every time one of these shields is attacked, he will get a charge of what's called blind bet. When you reach max charges of blind bet, Mr. Gambler drops a whole crap ton of coins on the enemies as a follow-up attack. And in addition, this follow-up attack applies more stackable shields. Jupard is shaking in his boots right now at the amount of shields that we're going to get from this character. And his animations are really sick too. Now let's talk about his ultimate, Roulette Shark. It'll deal imaginary damage to a single enemy target and debuff them, which could be interesting for the other character we just talked about. Any ally attacking this debuffed enemy will have increased crit damage. 
The ultimate also gives him some blind bet points towards that follow-up attack. His technique, the red or the black, provides varying degrees of defense boosts to your team depending on what slots you get. Yeah, so remember how I said he was trustworthy? Well, just like everything else in Pentacony, that was a lie. Ten Stone Hearts, Adventuring of Stratagems, is going to be a boss that we fight in 2.1. And staying consistent to his really cool character design, we're gonna play a little game of blackjack while we fight him. Evil looking adventuring with a cool face is going to summon these dice where we have to make our number larger than his. When our points are lower than his, he's going to hit us with more attacks and debuffs, so we need to hit as many dice as we can in one hit. Additionally, when our number is higher than Adventurine's, we win his crooked game and he gives us free buffs and things like energy regen. This battle sounds like it's going to be really interesting and I wouldn't be surprised if it was our first boss of the new Memory of Chaos or something like that. Now that we know all of our characters, here are the event warp the A-side banner is super stacked. Pela, Don Hung, and Gallagher. Post-op, good night, sleep well, and subscribe for more are the light cones. Aventurine's banner isn't as good in my opinion, with Lynx, Luca, and Serval. The new concert for two, shared feeling, and make the world clamor light cones. Laucha is the event warp rerun, and I'm going to need him too, so my money hurts. And Jing Liu is on the B-side, and I need her light cone, so please send me luck, because I'm really going to need it. Moving on, though, we have three new areas is coming to Pentaconi, Clocky's Screening Area, Hamster Ball Park, and the Hanu Gang Base. In these areas, we obviously have more to explore, but we're also going to be making some movies. In addition, we also have a new area called Dew Light Pavilion inside of the Moment of Morning Dew, which belongs to Mr. Sunday and apparently has a lot of treasures in it. This area will also house the new Ascension material for Fire-type characters called Raging Heart, the Path of Preservation Scattered Stardust Trace materials, and the Abundance Alien Tree Seed Trace materials. And here's a little preview of the movie-making sequences that they talked about in the livestream. We were also introduced to two new events, the first one being Vignettes in a Cup. In this event, we're going to do our best Gallagher impression, and we're going to be a mixologist at a monster lounge. And to be honest, that looks like my kind of drink right there. We'll get the usual rewards and a free four star for completing this event. Okay, so they made the second event just to make fun of any content creators who have to say this ridiculous name, but I guess I'm one of them now, so here we go. <clears throat> Tides of War, Untainted Childhood Memories, Passionate Heart Burning Soul, Ultimate Collection. Yeah. So anyway, in this battle, you're going to get this grit value racked up, kind of like that event we just had, Dream Jolt TV. Except this one kind of builds up to a really big super attack that they called a Might Unleashed moment in the livestream. It also has pretty cool pixel art, so I really like that too. Simulated Universe World 9 is here, and with it we get two more planar sets. A DPS set called Sagonia the Unclaimed Desolation, while Izumo Gensei and Takama Divine Realm grant extra buffs to the same wearers on the same path in a team. They also mentioned that we're going to get another major update in 2.3 to the Simulated Universe, similar to the Swarm Disaster and the Golden Gears. They also mentioned a couple of quality life updates like a claim all button for your assignments and a relic inventory size increase. We'll get more extra little mini games from the ones we already know from 2.0. And they gave Hanu a rocket launcher. And then they finally released what they were going to do for the anniversary this year, which is on April 26th. The first thing we got this Cosmodicy thing, which is basically Mario Party meets Monopoly, but it's game wide, meaning that as a server, we're going to be collaboratively meeting a certain goal in order to get a bunch of rewards. Additionally, for the anniversary rewards, we're getting Rumble the Strange and Planner Fisher for 300%, which is triple drop rates. We're also getting 20 more pulls and 1600 gems on the actual date, April 26th. There's also going to be a full first time top up bonus reset. Here's a screen cap of everything that's going on in the one year anniversary. And that is officially everything you need to know from the 2.1 livestream. It's really great that Honkai Star Rail keeps improving with every patch, and I'm sure we're even going to get more surprises along the way. I'm personally super excited to see what else they come up with, but let me know what you guys think about 2.1 and Star Rail in the comments below. As well as who's your favorite character that you're going to be pulling on too. As for now though, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel for more Honkai Star Rail, Honkai Third Impact, and more Gasha Gaming content. And as usual, I will catch you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching, and bye for now.